So. So, I just want to share uh, my quick experience um, of um, the two hospitals, um, uh, UTH and um, Levi Mwanawasa. As you can see, I'm sweating because I'm actually coming from um, uh, UTH where I have my stepdad. Uh, admitted my stepdad is admit is admitted um, at uh, UTH my dad died a long time uh, ago he died uh, in um, 1999 that's when he died uh, my mother I mean in our old age they were not together my mother and my father they were not together so my mother has her own life with her own family and um, um, He's, um, he's got a husband who is my stepdad. Um, they have been together for some time. So this is the one that is uh, in hospital right now. My stepdad is in hospital right now. And um, I have been helping out my mother, um, you know, at, uh, at, uh, at UTH. It all started um, yesterday, you know, when I... Uh, decided to go to the farm to go and visit my mother but along the way as I was going uh, I was told that uh, my my mother has brought you know my stepdad uh, at one of the the clinics uh, there in um, Mwembeshi area um, I want to thank the the gentleman that is there i don't know if he's a clin clinical officer but is there in charge you were very helpful i want to thank you um you did your best and um, of course unfortunately i mean you had challenges you couldn't have the the utensils that uh, uh or the tools uh you know that that you needed basically my stepdad has got you know due to old age uh, has got um i think it's it's prostate uh cancer any not not prostate cancer i don't know but it's um it's something to do with uh, passing of urine so yesterday he had so much pain because he couldn't pass urine so he went to the clinic and unfortunately when he reached at the clinic i mean the the clinic did not have the necessary tools so they only gave him some medication, you know, to stop the pain. Unfortunately, I think due to that pain, he, he had a stroke. He had a stroke. They called me. I went there, picked him up, brought him to UTH, and uh, he was admitted uh, at uh, UTH. Immediately, we brought him at the ER. The, uh, the doctors who were there, uh, I must say, they are quite uh, uh, helpful. All the medical officers that were there, they were quite helpful. And um, uh, we went to do a CT scan. We went to do a CT scan. Afterwards, he was brought, brought to the to the ward. Um, he has been there since, even now. I mean, he's still, he's still there. He's in a critical uh, condition. He's in a critical condition, but he is there. So I've, been, I've spent most of my time yesterday... And today, I've just come now. This is when I'm, I'm actually eating. I just came home so that I can eat something. And then I have to go to the farm. Now, the issue is that... Uh, the issue is that um, um, I want to talk about, you know, the experience that I've had. I think some of you who have followed me, you know that uh, a number of times I've had to nurse uh, patients in... Um, in a levy hospital not really by but that i choose or have any preference to uh levy uh hospital it just happens that um i mean we go to levy i think it is also because of the proximity i stay in roma so it looks like you know um levy is nearer 
remember I had my my grandmother who was here, you know, uh, who we were looking after. Uh, she died in Levi uh, Mwanawasa. We took her there. I also uh, myself have been sick together with my wife. We have been to Levi Mwanawasa. We have been treated. Myself and my wife have been treated. I think we have been treated twice. First, it is the time of COVID. We had COVID. Second, I think, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it was me who was not well. And my wife took me to uh, Levi, um, Levi Mwanawasa. I must tell you that uh, for me, I rarely go to a private hospitals. When I get sick, I prefer to go to government hospitals. And even here in my house, uh, you know, I've told my wife, when I get sick and I'm not able to move by whatever, you have to take me to the hospital. Please take me to the government hospital. I go to government hospitals. I take my family, those that I can, you know, I take them to government hospitals. Uh, except, you know, like when you talk about uh, my wife, she's not my child. I've, I mean, you can't do anything. You have to take her, you know, somewhere else. My children also, because of their mothers, you know, they protest to, to go to government hospitals. But for me, I go to government hospitals. So, basically what I'm just trying to say is that I've got a good experience. Recently, also my brother, uh, Happy Tayali, died in Levi uh, Hospital, Levi Mwanawasa Hospital. I was there with him. I was on the bedside. I mean, everything. And this time around, I have now have my my father, my 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 father, who is uh, at uh, uh, my stepdad, who is at uh, uh, UTH. I've been there with him from yesterday, even now I've been with him, and I notice a huge difference in these hospitals. And I'm not saying this to demonize uh, uh, anyone. No, I don't want to demonize the health workers from um, UTH. No. I don't want to demonize the, or I'm not damning the, the, the administration at UTH. I am simply here to give you a feedback from, uh, from a client point of view. From a client point of view. I just want to give you a feedback. A feedback meant to better the, 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 the situation. Basically, that's what I'm doing. So this is not to say... Hey, what, what, UTH, you are useless. Uh, 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 uh. It's not about that. It is just about, you know, ex sharing my experience so that maybe somebody can look into that. Maybe somebody can look into that. That is my essence. And it is not really particular. No, because Shinfatayali was there. No. Or did, do I want any preferential treatment? No, no. Um, I mean, those who have uh, met me at the hospitals, they will tell you, I don't need any preferential treatment and I don't even ask for preferential treatment. Whenever I go to these hospitals, I sit by the line, uh, pick my card, uh, wait for the, for the doctor to, 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 to see me, whatever, whatever. And I move out and I appreciate all those that attend to me. So I want to make this clear. Number one, it's not that I am here to dumb uh, UTH, no. Number two, it's not about me, okay? It's not about me because of it's me. Uh -uh. It is about, you know, how can we do better? That is the situation. It's about how can we do better? Where are we lacking? What is it that we can do better? That is why I am making this, uh, this address. Um, so, with my experience so far at, youth, at Levi, Levi Mwanawasa Hospital, um, first of all, even getting the card and everything, it's quite good. Uh, the system really flows. You go to Levi Mwanawasa, you present your card on that ka, ka window. In no time, the card is the the, the, the file is pulled. You go to wait for the for the for the doctors. Even the attitude, the attitude of you know the staff. Yes, there are instances where you see to say, okay, somebody is too tired or is frustrated, whatever. But really, generally, the staff at Levi uh, Mwanawasa Hospital, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. I, I, I don't know them. There's nothing that I... I know these are same, 
same medical officers. I know they are same medical officers, most of them going to the same uh, schools and everything. But their conduct, the way they carry themselves, the way they attend to you, and please don't think that I'm looking at this from my point of view. Uh -uh. Because when, even when you are sitting in a line, you see how you know, these medical officers are attending to other uh, patients. So it is not just about the way they treat me. I also see how others are being treated. So I'm saying in terms of staff, Levi Mwanawasa, I don't know how, I don't know. But they, there is a, a different attitude. The attitude that I saw at, at UTH was not the same. It wasn't bad, but really I think they could do better. I think they could do better. It is a situation where, you know, you find one coming out and trying to do good. But generally, when you are seeing just the way people are carrying themselves, the way they are, you know, you feel like, what's going on? I don't know if it is the pressure, because UTH is, um, is a, a bigger hospital. The ER there is busy. Yes, it is very busy. UTH, ER, if you go there, it is busy. I was there the whole day, almost not the whole day, but, you know, from starting around 11 up to about 22. So I saw the traffic. The traffic is heavy. So maybe it is that pressure. And uh, surely you can see that the staff are not enough. Like yesterday, really I could see that the staff, there were not many. You know, considering the number of people that were coming in. I think I saw about uh, three or four nurses. Three or four nurses. But the traffic was really coming. Doctors, I think there were about three doctors that were hovering around around there but uh so maybe that could that could be putting a strain on the on the staff maybe maybe and maybe we could do something better uh so that you know this we can have a, a different uh, atmosphere i perfectly understand i am saying there was pressure You are finished. Oh, very good. You are finished. Uh, she's saying she, she has finished. Okay. Give her some more and then you give her juice. She wants juice. But eat some more a bit. Okay, Kia. Mm. So, I do understand. I'm appreciating the fact that you are busy. I'm appreciating the fact that you are busy. And maybe we could look at, uh, uh, you know, putting more stuff there. Because really, uh, those guys are overwhelmed. And uh, it might cause them not to be, uh, not to concentrate. I do appreciate uh, a few guys that, uh, you know, tried to come in and help. I really appreciate, I really appreciate uh, you guys that really came in to help. I appreciate. But my challenge is that it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be because, you know, somebody has recognized you. You know, it, it, it should just be for everyone. It should just be for everyone. You know, it should just be for everyone. That is, that is my point. Now, one thing that I was very disappointed with, the doctors asked for my, for my dad to go and do a CT scan. Uh, he did a CT scan. They put... The, the whatever the information on a CD, we brought it back. Believe you me, that CD could not be opened. That CD could not be opened. They failed to open it. They went going round, going round. One doctor, I really appreciate that doctor. I won't mention your name, but I appreciate the fact that he left the base, he left the, the ER, and he went round with me trying to find a computer where he could read what was on the CD. Now, here is a problem. I mean, this is a stroke. They are suspecting that somebody has a stroke. You know, blood is flowing in the, in the brain. Let's do a, a, C, a, a CT scan quickly. You do a CT scan quickly, but then the information cannot be read by a doctor. Imagine that. 
Imagine that. Yes, we arrived. The doctors were very quick. Okay, quickly, let's do a CT scan. They did a CT scan. After doing a CT scan, information is put on a CD. It comes to ER and the doctors can't read it. And they just couldn't read it. They couldn't open it. Up to now, as I'm talking, that CD has not been read. Imagine a situation of happened yesterday. Up to now, as I'm talking, that CD has not been read by the doctors. Now, I had a similar situation. I had a similar situation when my brother, Happy Tayali, uh, had a stroke. And we took him. We took him first to level one, material level one hospital. And then he was transferred to Levy. At Levy, immediately he arrived. They didn't have a CT scan. You know what they did? They actually took him to a, they, they actually took him to, to, to UTH. They actually put him on an ambulance, took him to UTH, doctors. And there they did a CT scan and they came back with it. This doctor came back with it on the phone. We were there waiting and the guy was brought in. Within the day, within the same day, Ubushiku, and he was brought and the guy came with the, the readings showing us the extent of, uh, of the stroke. And the doctors were, you know, they, they were moving like packs, you know, like packs of uh, wild dogs, you know, sharing, consulting and whatever, whatever in the ER there, which is different from what I saw this side. They were busy consulting each other, these young doctors, busy consulting each other, blah, 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 blah. I was so impressed. And then, you know, they, they explained to us, this is the situation and so on and so forth. Look at, uh, at Levy. City, city scan was done yesterday. And as still as I'm talking, it has not been read. You can imagine that. But look at Levy. A patient was taken from Levy, taken to UTH. Did, it, did the, the, the CT scan, came back, and they had whatever they uh, on the on the phones. Of course, even at UTH, they said they should have put it on the, they should have taken a video with a phone. But why wasn't it done? Why wasn't it done? If they know that somebody has to take a video with a, with the phone, why wasn't it done? Why wasn't it done? And Levy, they did it. They did it. And this is not the first time. Even my grandmother, when she was sick, they did the same thing. They did the same thing. So, a difference in, 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 in the kind of uh, service. Then, uh, so, like we are saying, yesterday, so, we struggled with that CD. What did we do? My wife came in in the evening. Imagine eh, how embarrassing that was. My wife came in. She, I told my wife to come with a laptop because I said, okay, let's put a laptop. Let's try to install the software on my laptop so that we can read it. So my wife came with a laptop. We couldn't get the software because the software needs to be licensed. The software to read the, the CD. And my wife got the files on the CD. We copied the CD and we sent it to Ethiopia. We sent it to Ethiopia within. She sent it to her friends. She's, my wife sent it to some of her friends in Ethiopia because she did uh, um, uh, before she did a degree in uh, in uh, in financial accounting she did um, what is this pharmacy she did pharmacy before she did later on but of course she didn't want to work in the hospital so she went and and did uh, financial accounting so some of the, those friends that she was with in the health school they are doctors and whatever. And she sent to them. She sent the files to them. And in no time, in no time, they sent us back the video that uh, uh, I'm talking about. In no time, they sent us that video. So we had to upload the files we uploaded the files, sent them to Ethiopia, and in no time, they sent us back. This, is, this, this, this file came through WhatsApp. And they even gave us the analysis according to them. They gave us a report. I took it to the doctors who were now there. 
And frankly speaking, it was like at the time of change of shift and, you know, people were just like, this one is too tired and they just want to get to, to go. Yes, they attended to eat, but really you could see that, I mean, people were tired. Those who were there wanted to go and they left, they transferred the problem to those who were coming. Nonetheless, they told me that uh, uh, they need a neurosurgeon to come and look at, uh, at uh, the files. I even sent it to one of the doctors so that he can send it to the neurosurgeon uh, uh, and they said he will come. This we are talking now, a patient who was brought in the morning, we are talking, this is I think uh, almost 20 hours and they said he was going to come. We waited 21 hours, 22 hours, that's when I left that place. The doctor didn't come. That neurosurgeon didn't come. That neurosurgeon didn't come. And it was not only my stepdad. There was another person, another patient who needed a neurosurgeon. He didn't come. I know three patients who needed that specialized doctor to come and look at the, those people. That doctor didn't show up. Up to today, as I'm talking now, as I'm talking, unless it has happened when I've left, up to today, that neurosurgeon has not seen uh, my stepdad. Up to now, at least the, the few minutes that I came in, the status quo was the same. The only medication that was being administered to, where he was being given some B complex through a drip, and he was being given some antibiotics and painkillers. Now, we are talking about a person that had a stroke in the morning yesterday. And up to now, a CT scan is done, but it has not been read. And the patient is being administered with uh, antibiotics, uh, B-complex, and, and painkillers. This is the stroke that we are talking about. And look at the difference with the, with the UTH. Or with the Levy. Levy was totally different. Levy was totally different. I don't know. I know. I'm saying these are the same doctors I know. They go to the same schools and we are in the same country. A proximity of just about 10, 10 15 kilometers apart. But why is it that we seem to have a better attitude at Levy than at UTH? Why? That is my question. I'm wondering. We had to send files to Ethiopia for them to be interpreted. And look, imagine how that looks like. And now, just after lunch, around just before 13 hours, that is when this other doctor came in. He was very nice. This other doctor came in and kind of explained the situation. And he sent the CD now to at the radiographer so that somebody can give a report you know, over that CD. So the CD has gone to the radiographer, but what uh, the guy who took the CD came back and said, no, the radiographer is not available. Here is a number. Call this person after one hour. So uh, the doctor said he will call him or her so that he can look at that. And that is the time I left because I was hungry. I came and I have come here. So we are waiting for that radiographer to come and read. In Ethiopia, they didn't take more than 30 minutes. They sent us everything. Here, from yesterday up to today, we are waiting for somebody to inter to read that, uh, that CD. A scan which was done in the morning. I mean, can we say, is this, we, because most of the times we like to complain accusing the government. But from my point of view, from, from yesterday, I mean, I think that everything that a government sh should have done, they have done it. I don't think there is anything that we can point to say, here the government haven't done this. Because when you talk about a computer, that they were looking for a computer and whatever, whatever. According to the explanation I got today from this doctor, is that, you know, it's a radiographer who is supposed to, uh, to interpret that and give a report. And the computer is there, except that this radiographer is not there. Now, you can tell me, no, today is Sunday and yesterday was Saturday. But come on, who chooses when to get sick? When you talk about being sick, 
when you talk about uh, you know strokes and whatever whatever these sicknesses sicknesses don't choose which day you are going to be attacked so you can't talk about saturday sunday doesn't shouldn't apply we went into uh, the, the, the 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 what is that the uh, the uh, the x-ray room we went there and the guy who was there was just casually saying no 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 this you have to come on monday no honestly you have come with a city and the this doctor is like please i want to see what is it no no we can't do that now uh, because okay the computer he had an explanation he said the computer which is available now can't read but you have to come on monday so i'm not blaming the guy who was there no i'm not blaming him i'm blaming the fact that he said the computer which is there cannot read if you want this, come on Monday. So now my issue is, if really these services is needed, why shouldn't there be a person all the time to read this? Why should we wait for Monday? Are you telling me my stepdad is going to wait until Monday? I don't know what is happening in his brain. I don't know if blood is flowing. I don't know if the nerve has, flat, uh, has, uh, has ruptured and blood is flowing in his brain. I don't know. Is he going to wait until whenever? I don't know. And I, I'm insisting that I'm using my experience to speak for others as well. Because I know it is not only me. I know there is a lady who also came in with a stroke. Same situation. She's also in the female ward. I know there is another gentleman who also came in. He's also there. And from what I've seen, it's like the neurosurgeon hasn't come in and these CDs are not being read. Honestly. And this situation, from my point of view, I mean, this is how we are increasing, you know, a mortality rate. Situations that could be resolved because really, I don't think there is something, it's not, it's not a situation that, no, tapali umuti, Tapali ifi, whatever, whatever. No, the CT scan is working. The machines are there. The computers are there, but the people are not there. We went back to try and read from where the thing was done. We found a notice to say night shift. Call this number. We tried to call that number. The number is off. And the whole thing, the whole, that's the, you know, the cancer section where they do the CT scan. There was no one in the night, at least... 22 hours from 22 hours when I left, there was no one. From about 16 hours, 20, 22 hours, there was no one. There was just this number. Call this number. You call that number, the number was not going through. So, if you really look at it, from my point of view, I think there is something that we can do better. There is something that we can do better. It is not a one... The, it is. I'm not just speaking from without. I also looked, observed what is happening with other other doctors, uh, other other patients. And my plea, I think this one will go to the administration. I know you are the same doctors. I'm sure the administrators at Levy, whatever, whatever, you are colleagues, you are the same. But there is something that is making making the situation look different. What is that that is making UTH? Uh, Operating the manner that is, is operating. What is making a levy operating the manner that is that it is operating? What is it? You are the same colleagues. I'm sure the director there is just a doctor like at 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 at, at uh, UTH, and he might even be more senior. I don't know. Whatever. But there is something. There is something that. Uh, no 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 no. It was not good. Even the the nurses. My mother was made. To change my stepdad, they had to put on a diaper. She had to ask a friend, you know, somebody who was also there, had to ask her to, to change because the nurse said, you change it. You change it. And she had to change it. I'm glad when I was there myself, at one when I was there, you know, the nurses were very nice. I thank you. You were very nice. You wiped him, cleaned him nicely, you know, changed the beddings. I am grateful. I am grateful. But surely there is something that we need to do better. There is something that we need to do better. I am not blaming anyone and whatever, whatever, but I am saying, can we do better? UTH 
I know you are overwhelmed. I know it is the biggest hospital. I know a lot of people are coming there. But even Levy is the big hospital. And there are a lot of people also going there. Can we see? Uh, can we see that we, we do better? Anyway, let me eat my, my lunch. I have to go back. And this is why you haven't seen me talking too much on social media. It is because I'm nursing my stepdad who is at uh, who is uh, who is who is in the hospital eh mwe fulwa yo at yo tayari at 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 tulanda po atevo 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 ah ah na papata ne i'm just uh, talking so that uh, we can do better where can we bet do better we are the same people uth levy we are the same people how come levy is seemingly doing better of course they have their own challenges you know you always find that doctor who is not whatever, who is not well motivated, you will find a nurse who is not, it is, it, that is common, you know, but we are talking about a general, you know, feeling, a general feeling, you know, uh, that's basically that. Thank you very much. Um, so I ask you to pray for my stepdad. Uh, my mom, <laughs> my dad is gone, but my mom loves this man. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I have to be there, you know, to look after after him and do whatever I, I, I can. I ask you to also pray for him. Thank you very much and uh, good afternoon.